Hey guys, I'm Mega Sprite. Welcome to the lovely world of Hydraneer. Today we're going to be trying out a new game. Uh, not my first time I've played it, but I barely got anywhere in this game as I gave up as I am very bad at it. So, without further ado, let's get onto a brand new series with relatable names. Okay, once we spawn in, we're at Ember Cradle, and we're given only a handful of things. We are literally only given a dirt sh- mm -hmm. bro, stop lagging. A dull shovel, a pan, a brush, and a another smaller bucket. Oh, wait, this is a pan, that's a bucket. Okay, now, there's a- this game is a very simple comp- why is it so pixelated like that? It's a little goofy. This game is a very simple concept. Simply, take, take, you take, you take your shovel, and you, you, you click the dirt, and you put it into the bucket. You take the dirt, and you dump it into the pan. You take bucket, you drop it in the water to get water. Drop it in there. So you have dirty water, give it a little brush, and boom. You now have gold ore, and what is this? Iron ore. And you repeat over and over again, to we are wealthy. Well, actually, to become wealthy, you will run up here to the jeweler. Once up at the jeweler, you just drop it on this table, and everything in this you can just sell. Now I have 16 coins. And then you can run down here and spend all of your money at the shop. My 16 coins will probably buy me nothing. All right, so we have a few things here. Beds, bigger shovels, pickaxes, grinding wheels and buckets. And they all have a certain price to buy at. And they all do their own unique things. So since I am clearly too broke to afford literally any of this, let's quickly go Let's go sift through some more dirt. Now that I have a nice big hole, and I've done this for the, what, dozenth time now, we now have a whole pan full of iron, gold, and some of these uncut gems. So we can simply, simply take this up to the jeweler. And now, instead of only having 16, we had 277 from the little bit of time we did that. And we have these shards, which I'm not going to worry about for now. Back at the shop, we can actually take our 16 coins we had from earlier. And the 277 dropped them together. Boom, now we have 293. And there are a few things we need to start getting. And first off, that one will be the grinding wheel. Because the grinding wheel grinds uncut gems into cut gems easily, easily with just simply, you know, using this thing to make some sell for more. We're gonna want pickaxe. We're gonna want a crucible. We're gonna want a small furnace. And, uh, looks like we're a little too broke. Alright, actually, we're ditching the pickaxe. We need an anvil, mm -hmm. and so far, it seems like that's all we'll be able to buy, so I'll move this back to the uh, ember cradle, jeez, do I hate that name, get it all placed down, and then I'm going to do a little more mining, well, more panning for gold, literally, and I'll see you in a sec. After putting some concrete floors down, which were like five buck, five like hydro coins a piece, to make this a little presentable, unlike my room, I will now demonstrate what everything does. So, I should probably get resources to demonstrate. Now that I got a bunch of resources, I can just dump them on the floor there. And good, it looks like we got everything we need. Now, like I've already demonstrated, we can just take some gems like that. And boom, that's how we cut our gems. And the anvil, I'll show you that we can use that for in just a second. But this crucible has been preheating there for God knows how long at this point. And we can just take a few of these golden nuggets and put them in there. Like so. 
throw this back on to the, the furnace and wait for a spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous combustion complete. And with this cast, if we just angle that little dot down there and we click, we now have a baby gold bar. All right. And we can do the exact same thing with our iron. More spontaneous combustion complete. And we pour into there. Oh, and that appears to be slightly bigger. And if it will get on the anvil, we can compare the si Get on the anvil to compare- Did I- ah! Okay, on the anvil. Yeah. Uh, no, it's actually the exact same. Okay, but if we- move the gems gold and iron off there you can see that you can make a sword a axe a long sword a ring a necklace and that's it so we have the means to make one ring so actually if we move this off here because we have to heat up the gold bar first don't get lost in there You're small we can put the gems stone back on the anvil and that looks sufficiently heated drop that there take the the hammer smack it a few times smack it a few times okay I don't think that was warmed enough give me a minute all right this time it's sufficiently heated I can tell you for sure hammer again and a and with that we have the smallest emerald ring in the the whole world and now I can marry myself now of course I'm just joking I'm not going to marry myself that'd be that'd make me ten times more of a loser we can actually throw it in the back of this truck and by hitting Q we can actually get in it and we can drive to a little place okay don't mind me but I completely forgot where we were meant to sell these but I do know I can just you know go to the jeweler and sell it so our hard work has paid off too 68 coins. Are you choking me?